our gel press. This is our DL size from the combo kit. And we've got our elements ink here. This is Mulberry. So taking a smoothie, I'm just going to transfer the ink over onto the gel press. And I'm just working my way up, fading it out as I go towards the top. And keeping that depth of colour down at the bottom. Okay. And then taking our brushes, which I've watered down, and our fan brush, I'm just going to use a couple of colours. This is um, olive green, so I'm just taking a little off first and then just spattering that on. And then we've got moss green and we shall use some Prussian blue. And then taking some of the multifarious card. I'm going to just pop that down and then turn the gel press upside down and popping that down and give that a good press. You can see it all coming together through the perspex. And then we'll just peel that off. And that's just a, a really lovely colour, the mulberry. So I'm just dabbing out any excess ink there. And now I'm going to ink this up in twilight. that a good press and then I'm going to ink up in the warm breeze as well. I'm only going to ink part of it though this time. And then I'm using the Nocturne and our little Rory from a set. So just inking him up in the black, I'm just going to pop him down about there. going to take a mask now and put that down round about there and then go back to the twilight and using the stencil brush I'm just flicking up Just blending that colour just to ground them, giving you a little bit of depth down at the bottom there and I'm going to do the same under the 
this other one. Again, I'm just grounding that like so. Now it doesn't need an awful lot more doing to it, um, maybe some words. So I'll ink up in the warm breeze. And I'm going to stamp off and just pop those at the top there. And maybe I'll do another one just underneath. Now I've got the word dream. And let's pop that there as well. I'm going to stamp off again though. I want it very much in the background. Something I might do is just using a little bit of water. I'm just going to pop that over the lanterns just to bleach out some of that colour to make them look a little bit more solid. And you can see how that's pulled that image out now just by bleaching that colour. I'm going to use my white pen and maybe a little bit of glitter. I'm just going to dot a little on the ground here. The glitter always looks nice over a dark background so it's nice and dark down here so the holographic glitter will really stand out against that so just sprinkle a little of that over the top and that's it so a nice quick easy card to make and I think that looks really effective but such an easy background to create thanks for watching guys you take care and I'll see you real soon Bye for now.